Thank you very much. And thank you, Ambassador, for being here. Um, I wanted to discuss just quickly um, the border uh, criteria to be open. So we are losing jobs. We do need to order the open the border as quickly as possible. And we don't want to jeopardize health and safety, absolutely. But in order for people to plan, we absolutely need to understand what the American criteria for it to be open will be and the Canadian criteria. So what are the specifics that need to be met in order to be open? Right, no, and that, look, I understand that question and I understand the need that's driving it. As I said, this is uh, talking about what's happening at the border is a regular feature of my responsibilities here. Um, I think uh, what, I, what I have to say to that is we've been in touch already with the, with the White House, with the COVID committee at the White House, um, and obviously with the Department of Homeland Security. Uh, the border was discussed between the leaders. And what's clear is that the Biden administration is going to want to um, move to that discussion in the same way they're moving through everything that they're doing down here on, on COVID, which is stepwise, carefully, very planned out, listening to their scientists, so listening to their experts. Do we have an idea of when we might have that information? It's critical when right. can we, they're looking to have their population vaccinated yeah. by May. We're six months after that. Obviously supply chains will resume when we are able to be open, they will be open potentially before us and therefore our supply chains may be excluded. When will we know what their criteria are so that we can get there as quickly as yeah, possible? Yeah, I, I, I'm afraid I can't say when we're gonna know. I can Perfect. say that we, we talk about it all the time, but can Thank I just you. say one thing? Just Can I just say one thing? Our supply chains, and this was the, this was the point I, I made earlier, our supply chains are working, right? We do have, in terms of commercial releases into Canada and Canadian commercial releases into the United States, we have a very small diminishment from last year. So there, I, I'm not trying to deny how That's far this is. That's not what we're hearing on the ground, though, Ambassador. So okay. uh, people are feeling that they're losing business. But regardless, we need the border open yes. and recovery will yes. be directly proportional to that. Yes. And we need to understand what those criteria are as quickly as possible. Likewise, with the vaccines that are being produced in the U.S. that Canada will have access to, timing matters. Do you have any insight into what that timing is? Um, well, I can say that there is a, um, a contract with AstraZeneca, which is produced here in the United States. And my understanding is that those doses are to start being delivered to Canada in the second quarter. Uh, that's the timing I'm aware of. Thank you very much. And the roadmap was comprehensive, absolutely. But it also shows the areas that we agree on. I wonder if you could give us the top three areas that didn't make it into the roadmap that are Canadian priorities that perhaps we want to further, but didn't make it into the to the roadmap. Um, well, you know, I don't. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I would. Um, Line five. I, yeah, but okay. So, uh, uh, so Keystone XL, or are we to understand that that's off the table now? Canada has priorities. Not all of our priorities are in the roadmap. What are the priorities of Canada that are not there? I think that I would say to that, that um, if Canada is very focused on making sure that there are aspects of our relationship that are understood and there are aspects of what's been going on in Canada over the last four years since this president and some of his colleagues have been gone. Um, there are things that we have done that they ha are not aware of and that so, they are not fully apprised of. Thank you, and, Ambassador. Could you give me some of the US priorities that didn't make it into the roadmap so that we're aware of what they would like that perhaps might be more controversial? Ambassador, 30 seconds or less. 
Yeah, the, the, there wasn't there wasn't sort of a disagreement on we would like this in, we wouldn't like this in. I have to be very frank with you, there really wasn't. There was there was a discussion around how we formulate um, certain things in relation to some of the work that we're doing internationally. Um, how we wanted to articulate that, how explicitly we wanted to articulate that, whether we wanted to be more vague about it. We talked about things like that. Uh, we talked about whether there was enough, um, you know, whether there was enough in there on international cooperation around COVID, whether there was too much, whether we should be focusing more on what we want to do together. There were those kinds of things, but the big buckets of things that we were working on, um, you know, that they were fairly well understood. Thank you very thank, much. Thank you, Ms. 